the game that we are playing today is a race. All right, do you know how to use pegs? Yeah. yeah. Show me if you can put a peg on my t-shirt, one. Okay, is it stuck? Okay, good. All right, so this is a race. First, who's the youngest from the two of you? Who's the youngest? Me. Anna's the youngest. Hey, I'm the youngest. I'm gonna give I'm Anna. Little. I'm gonna give Anna thirty seconds. Let's see how many pegs she can put on my T-shirt. I didn't say go yet. Okay, you have to wait for me to say go. All right. Now, Sasha, here's the stopwatch. When I say start, you will press the green button. Mm -hmm. Hold on. And then, when it reaches thirty, how do we write thirty? Do you know? Right. When it reaches 30, then you have to press stop and you have to tell Anna stop. Mm -hmm. Okay? And let's see how many pegs she can put. Okay? When I tell you go. On your marks, get set, go. Finish. How many did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's take it off. And then it'll be Sasha's turn, okay? Anna, when I tell you go, you will press the green button. Mm -hmm. And when it reaches number 10, how do we write 10? No, I did 20. What number will it reach? 1 and 0. Right, okay. So when you see 1 and 0, 10, then you'll That's say stop. Like zero. Yeah, when, then you'll say stop, okay? All right. And press stop on. When I say go, then you press the green button. On your marks, get set, one hand at a time. Go. Stop. I'll stay. They stay. Count. How many did you get? One, two. Anna, this is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to make the longest chain, all right? So I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Let's see if you can make the longest chain, all right? Ready, go. Huh? Is it working? Do you want me to show you again? So hold it from here. Look. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny, the Master Trainer at Sunshine Teachers Training and today I'm going to tell you about a very simple activity that needs absolutely no preparation at all. Sometimes you're baking in the kitchen and you want, you know, your children want to get involved or it's a good idea just to pull them in and give them some responsibility and, uh, you know, get them to join in what you're doing. Now, yesterday was my nephew's birthday and we baked him some cupcakes and I wanted him to be part of this process of making his own birthday cupcakes, so of decorating them. So after I had frosted them, uh, I brought them out and I brought, gave him and his sister some sprinkles and I asked them first to sprinkle decorations onto the cake. I showed them once how to do it and then they were able to follow through and they used their own creativity and then the next step was to stick in the little lollipop decor on top. This activity helps to build concentration, it helps to build up their self-esteem. They felt so good about being a part of this birthday celebration and creating something that the whole family would enjoy. Um, they also developed eye-hand coordination. Uh, my niece is still uh, three years old and so for her, it, she still needs to re refine her fine motor and her eye-hand coordination, which is going to help her with language. Um, they enjoyed that. They learned to cooperate. They learned to take turns. So their social skills were also being developed in this little impromptu activity that we put together. In this way, children can help you to make a sandwich. They can help you to lay the table. All of these things help them feel very important. Trust me, they enjoy this more than playing with toys. They like to do real 
purposeful activities. So get them involved in your day-to-day -day activities. These are where the practical life activities get incorporated in uh, you know, everyday life. It doesn't have to be things that they're only doing on the shelves. Enjoy. So today we have a bake shop. What should we call our bake shop? What should this bake shop be called? Sasha's birthday on April 7th because today hey, is my birthday. Too long. Let's call, let's have a name for our bake shop. Ah, uh, birthday cupcake shop. Okay, birthday cupcake shop. And today we have a special order because it's somebody's birthday. Who's my birthday. birthday. Sasha. It's Sasha's birthday and we have to decorate some cupcakes for him. So what do we have here? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. What Star. shape are they? Stars. 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 Do you see the colors we have here? Um, rainbow and I love silver. That's mm -hmm. weird. Tell me the colors. Green, orange, red. Do you know green. what kind of green this is? What? Like pink? Chartreuse. I love pink. pink and what pink. else do we have? We have like a pink, pink and we have an orange, yeah. right? Can I eat it? And, and we, have, we have silver. And we have silver. And yeah. we also it? have these Yuga. very special cupcake toppers. What do we have on them? Oh, these are all oh, yeah. Batman. Batman. My favorite. And? Ooh, Minions. Minions. My favorite. Minions. I don't like Minions. Ooh, Star Wars, my favorite. And? Ooh, Ninja Bowl, my right. favorite. Now we don't want to Why? overload. Why? Because it's his birthday. On your birthday, will you have your favorites, okay? So now, we don't want to overload it with too many sprinkles because it looks funny and also it isn't very yummy to eat. It's too sugary. So we just want to, I'm going to show you one. Are you watching? Are She's you watching taking me? all my stuff. Hold on. Hold, it's for everybody. Hold on, okay? So I first we'll it. do the sprinkling. We have a whole nother batch, okay? So I'm going to show you one and then you'll have a turn, okay? Either this color or this color. We won't mix it. Okay, I'll just show you. Okay. That's it. Like okay. This? Yeah, just a pinch and spread it out. Like okay. That? Yeah, you could spread it out a little bit can, more. Can I have a little bit of pink piece? Sure, you can try it. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. One, okay? Alright. Okay, now let's do this. 